Hey, what's up, Brian? So, I want to talk about something that a lot of people in society aren't really um, taking seriously right now, and um, it's the next president of the United States of America. We are usually disconnected from politics. I mean, as YouTubers or people who watch YouTube, we, we are usually the most disconnected people from politics. And that's just because sometimes you don't want to have nothing to do with it. Because uh, the choices are always horrible. Like, for instance, the 2016 election for Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. That election happened on my birthday, November 8th, and it was... It was the worst birthday I could possibly imagine. Donald Trump wins and, you know, has shifted our country in a very dark um, situation. I feel like even mass shootings and things like that have increased. Drug use has increased. Suicide deaths have increased. And I don't know if it has something to do with Trump. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there's obviously a problem here with him in office. People think he's racist and even if he isn't, the fact that that type of conversation is up there, that one of our le our leader of the free world is a racist, that could be very detrimental to the DNA of America in itself. Now let's get into a candidate that I feel like is now finally getting the attention he deserves, but still he's not longer than a long shot. <laughs> I ordered that shirt by the way. But he's not longer than a long shot. But I will say that he still has some things to go before people actually like start taking him seriously as a candidate. And I feel like people are already taking him seriously. I mean, I bought this hat out of just, just like, and I've donated, I've contributed like three times, three payments of twenty-five bucks, just because I want this man to win. I feel like he is the best choice for America. Not only does he present all the issues first hand but then he he tells you the, the solutions and these solutions actually add up and will work Andrew Yang is probably the only president I've ever wanted to vote for Just let that sink in I've never voted and the reason why I never voted is because it, when it always came down to the choices they weren't good for me even the Obama election, but I wasn't even old enough to vote. If I had the choice to vote, I wouldn't have voted for Obama. Not because I don't like Obama. It's just like, I've never been emotionally, or I've never been excited for a candidate. I never was like, oh, I gotta vote for them. And Andrew Yang is probably the first person where I was just like, I want to vote for that guy. I think he will actually get shit done. And he doesn't sit here and talk about not only did, it's crazy because he puts his money where his mouth is. It's crazy. This is why he won the Democratic debate, the third one, hands down. They mocked him, they laughed at him, said it's innovative, it's cool, or it's new. But at the end of the day, he put his money where his mouth is. He literally showed their ass. Hey, if you want to get some shit done, if I, I'm not even I'm not even president of the United States yet, and I believe in my 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 idea so much that I'm gonna take the money that has been donated to me and maybe some of my own money and distribute this universal basic income among ten families. Have you ever heard of a politician doing that? That's insane, dude. He won that Democratic debate. No hands down. Bernie's out the window. He's gone. Poof. Everyone on that stage disappeared suddenly to me, in my opinion. Just like that. You know why? Because Andrew Yang actually showed his efforts through his actions. It wasn't like he was just talking, blabbling, saying whatever. He actually got that shit going. And I think I want a president like that. I'd rather have a president like that than Trump or any other president because he believed in himself so much that he started enacting his policy before it even became policy. He just set a whole new bar for a politician, president, senator, congressman, congresswoman. He just set a whole new president that no one has ever set before. He set the bar. 
if you guys aren't in with math yet, you need to go ahead and do it. I don't usually do politics on this channel. I'm not going to probably make another video like this unless, you know, Andrew Yang comes on my channel. Unless I can get him on my channel. That would be awesome. But other than that, man, um, seeing Andrew Yang doing what he's doing is it's the best thing ever. You can't, it can't get any better than this, man can't get any better than this anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um that is my opinion on why he won a democratic debate it's because he actually showed actions and he actually has real solutions to everything even the down to the value-added tax on goods and services that these big corporations would uh have to pay and it's it would help the economy. It would be, become a trickle of economy. A lot of people are calling this idea socialist. It's not. It's the trickle up economy. It's where capitalism doesn't start at zero. And I agree with them. It adds up. You have this value out of tax, and then people say, how are you going to pay for that? Well, if you think about it, the money is going to be circulating back into the economy anyway. So you're probably going to get m your money back that you spent to start uh, UBI. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. This guy is brilliant. Okay. Period. Right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, thank you so much. If you guys are voting for Andrew Yang, let me know down below in the comments. Do you think his ideas are cool? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think he's socialist? Tell me down below how you feel. I think he's gonna win this election, and if I gotta make vi videos to help, I will. Bye, Arlenators.